Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. I'm going to show you a quick fix for a shop vac attachment. I don't know about you, but when I use this to vacuum my floor in my shop, I have a concrete floor, and so it sticks to the floor all the time, and I get frustrated with it because I'm, I'm constantly having to angle it to keep it from, from sucking itself down and sticking to the floor. Um, I'm going to put a couple of little uh, wood buffers on each side to keep it from sticking and allow me to vacuum up all my sawdust and my chips a lot easier. So let's get started. Now this one is uh, obviously well used. It's several years old. Um, I've used it to the point that I've ground off part of the plastic on the concrete. But finally today I just uh, have had enough of dragging it on the concrete. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, grind off these ears on the side. Yours may or may not have those. Um, so I just took mine and uh, hit it on the, uh, on the grinder um, and ground off those ears flush. You could uh, do that with a sand and block, a file, um, or a grinding wheel, a side grinder, anything like that, a Dremel tool. Just uh, basically you're just trying to make kind of a flush face so we can attach a little block of wood to it. So I'm just taking a scrap piece of uh, quarter inch plywood. You can use whatever you've got. And then I'm gonna trace the edges, or the ends rather, of this nozzle onto the piece of wood. Doesn't have to be perfect because you can sand the edges when you're done. You just wanna get a relative shape, you know, relatively close. You want to make sure that when you're cutting this out, you leave some room below this line because that's going to be the, the gap that you're going to create under the nozzle. I'm going to take this and I'm going to add you know, about 3 16ths thereabouts. I'm just going to eyeball it because I don't really care how precise it is. I just wanted to get it up off the floor. So I'm going to cut about like so to that line and just bring, uh, just bring that down like to sew, cut out like that. <clears throat> then I'll cut these shapes out on the uh, on the scroll saw. Okay, so now I've got these two, and I'm just going to smooth them up and uh, on the belt sander, or you can do it, you know, by hand. You could hit them with a little bit of sandpaper. So the the key is to um, you know make them so that they they fit onto the end of the nozzle and give you a little bit of um, a little bit of space under the the lip. So I'm going to mount mine about like so. Put a couple screws through here, and it'll be fine. Um, Make sure that when you're sanding it, the leading and the trailing edge, you round off those corners because that'll keep it from, uh, from digging into the floor and, and hopping on you. I've got uh, some real little tiny, I think these are like number four by, I don't know, quarter, maybe five sixteenths, something like that, screws that I'm going to use. You can use whatever you've got. Just make sure that if they're... Um, you know, like if they're a little bit longer than the thickness of the plastic and the wood that you're using, then just put a washer or two behind them in here so that it doesn't stick out. Or if it does, then just hit it with a file and grind it off, something like that. Again, it's a shop vac, so it doesn't have to be beautiful, but um, you don't want a sharp point sticking out there because then it's going to snag on something or just poke your finger when you pick it up. But what I'm going to do is because I don't want to crack this plastic when I run a screw through it. I'm going to drill the plastic first with a, with a bit big enough to clear the shank of the screw, but still retain the head. And then I'm going to uh, mark the holes in the wood and drill the holes in the wood with a much smaller bit. So you got to size that according to whatever screw you got. So I'm just going to uh, drill me a couple of holes about about midway vertical and um, just where, whatever looks good. 
if you want to be more precise about it, of course, you can measure this, but I'm not that worried about it. So I'm going to line it up where there's where there's basically uh eighth of an inch, like so. Uh, difference between here and here, thereabouts. Take a fine lead and mark my holes. And you know, because you're dealing with such a small piece of wood, um, you want to make sure that your bit is is properly sized for your threads. Otherwise, it's going to split it. Um, you can drill all the way through if you want, or if you want to, you want it to be real nice and neat on the end. Just don't drill all the way through. I'm going to take my screws and start them by hand so I can just line up on the, the holes in the wood. If I, if I get them through here and the point's sticking through, then I can use the point to uh, line up on the wood holes. Like so, just got a little point in there. I can take my can take my piece of wood, line the screw tips up or the screw points up on the holes, and then carefully drive it so I don't split the plastic or the wood. Just like so. There we go. Now you can see I got a I got a gap. So now is this thing. So now as this thing rides on the floor, it's got a, a little gap here and here to keep it from sucking up on the floor so tight and being aggravating. And then, yeah, if you want to get fancy, you can, you can smooth this off to match the profile of your, uh, of your nozzle if you want. Um, I'm not going to. I suppose you could also, you know, just glue it on here um, if you don't want to screw it on. The reason I screwed them on is because I might want to take them off. Um, like if I'm having to vacuum up water or something, for example, I might want to take these off. But a couple screws will hold them on just fine for what I'm doing. And uh, if you don't, if you don't care about making it permanent, you know, you can epoxy them on, glue them on, something like that. It'd be just fine. So I'm gonna try it. That works like a champ. I don't have to worry about it sticking to the floor at all. I can, I can vacuum up my mess and get on about my business. So that's going to be a keeper. Worked out pretty good. Thanks for watching. I hope this works out for you. And uh, check out some of my other videos. Hope to see you back soon. Thanks.